Hello everybody, welcome back to Box Check. Today we've got the 2024 AGT WH-12R in the garage. If you've been following the channel, you know that I just recently purchased this machine from an auction and immediately after purchasing, actually the last video that I did, we actually changed the engine oil and hydraulic fluids to something that we trust. After doing so, I went out and tried it out for a little bit. And it wasn't just me, I actually had my father with me and, and he uh, has ran equipment for you know, 30 plus years at his uh, job that he retired from. Uh, but in testing this machine, overall, it, it works. However, there is one part of it that is, is just incredibly jerky and that is the this lever right here. If we push it forward or push it backward, that controls the full boom up and down. And that is just tremendously jerky, no matter how delicate you try to be with it. So today's video is going to be about our test to see if really if I don't, if I like this better, but I'm going to switch the um, up and down input of this control over to this control and vice versa. And I've seen people do this. Um, this is really not going to affect me that much because I don't have muscle memory with this machine. Um, but it just kind of makes sense. I'm just thinking of it in my head. First person view and I'm right-handed, it feels right that I would reach out and dig and let go. And I can envision how it makes sense if the left lever is the full boom up and down. And although that makes sense, really my, my motivation for trying this is I would rather the stick be jerky. I mean, that's only three feet or something of something that's jerky versus the full weight of the boom. If I don't like it, I'll switch it back, not a big deal. But that's what we're gonna to do today. Here's the machine's current condition. First off, it's covered in pollen. It's uh, the beginning of April and have been a very dry, windy day, covered in pollen, but uh, I do have the canopy off in order to get in the garage. We have also removed the, the handles that go over these levers, and as well as a shroud that covers this valve body. The boom, the bucket, and everything is fully on the ground, and all of the hydraulic pressure is out of every line. So I'm just gonna make sure of that before we go disconnect any of these. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the camera closer so you can see how I've kind of pre-marked these so I don't lose track of which line goes where, and then we'll do the switch. All right, before I put the camera on the tripod, I'm gonna show you this. So here we are, this is this would be the right lever if you're sitting in the seat. And we are looking at this plunger right here. So as I manipulate this lever forward and backward, you can see which plunger is, is, is being controlled. And the subsequent fittings down below that, uh, there's this one right here and this one down here. And what I've done is I've marked these. I've got, I've got a bunch of these just colored zip ties, but I have marked uh, that the green, if it's got green, the red's on the bottom and then the yellow's on top. But if it's got a green, it's, it's, uh, those go together. Now, if we move over to this one, uh, here's this lever. This would be the left lever. And we can see this plunger right here if I move it forward and back. Uh, that's what we're wanting to change and the subsequent fittings down below that yellows on top reds on bottom but those go together they they don't have a green one uh, with it but that's just how i did it all right now i'm going to put the camera on a tripod and let's do the switch all right now in theory this job should go fast but i don't think i've ever done a job where i didn't run into some sort of snag so i'm going to start with the top ones because i can't really get this wrench down on the bottom ones until I remove the top one. So let's start out with this one right here. 17 millimeter, by the way. All right, problem number one, everything's spinning. So let's see what we can do about that. All right, I don't know if you can see that, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this 10 millimeter wrench. I guess the size really don't matter, but um, I've got it snug between these two. Uh, rear fittings and it should bind it in place. Let's see if it works. And it did.
All right, I think we're good. So during that short little leak test that we just now did, uh, moving those controls around, I actually think I'm gonna like it. Now it's hard to tell in this garage. Uh, it's also hard to tell because I don't have muscle memory on this machine yet. I've got muscle memory on a PS4 playing Fortnite or AGTLRT23, which I'm a huge fan of, but not a mini excavator. Um, but later on, if I found out that I don't like it, it's easy enough to change as you can see, or if somebody's gonna buy this from me and they want it changed back, I'll change it back, not a big deal. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, hit that like and subscribe button because there's gonna be more videos about this mini excavator as well as that LRT23. And by the way, I did get that hydraulic thumb. It should be here in about a week and that will actually be the next video on this mini excavator. It's putting on that hydraulic thumb. All right, but that's gonna do it for this one. That's how you change these controls out. Hope you found it helpful. Thanks for watching.